Hey everyone, hope you're all having a wonderful day. Hope the new year is treating you well. I don't know if you dig the look. I'm kind of going for an Aerith vibe because I love Aerith very much. But anyway, uh, today we're going to be talking about the ninth life. As far as I know, I think this book was canceled. I tried to look into why it was canceled. Um, apparently the author made some unsavory tweets. I think they were uh, racist tweets. I couldn't find the tweets anywhere. So I do know that the publisher has released a statement saying that they are no longer going to be publishing this book. So I kind of faced a dilemma. Do I still review it or not? I did read it. I might as well review it. Um, I have to say it's, it's a touchy read. Not so much because I didn't see any racism in the novel itself. Let me start by saying that. However, there are many uncomfortable relations going on in the story. It just kind of weirded me out. So, Ninth Life, it's about a cat. And this cat is going to be entering his ninth life, you know, his, his final life. And he doesn't really want to die because he likes where, he is at, where he's at right now. And he remembers all his previous lives. Now, I liked the premise of the story because I'm a cat person. I've got cats. Uh, I do rescue many cats off the street and I do get them fixed. You know, I do trap me to return program. So, um, I'm all for a book about cats. In fact, I'm really eager to play that game where you get to play as the cat. So, I was really intrigued. You know, the, the cat gets to be a human. The thing is, he doesn't get to start fresh. Uh, the body he inhabits was someone who OD'd, and so he's kind of thrust into this really turbulent and really uncomfortable life. You know, he lives with this dude. They're kind of friends with benefits. He was a drug dealer. It's alluded to he was very violent. Um, he's an, he left home because his parents weren't okay with him being um, gay. And it's alluded to that he was bisexual, which I'm totally okay with. The problem is his relationship with his roommate. I felt like it was a very toxic relationship um, because his roommate is just... You can tell his roommate loved him, and he, the, the person whose body he inhabited didn't really love him either, just kind of wanted him and didn't want to share him with anyone else. So, it was just a little uncomfortable to read their dynamic, because they continue... I understand, you know, this cat, he's having all these feelings, he doesn't know what's going on. I liked that because it does explore um, us as humans, like, feelings are complicated. You can love someone, you can hate them, you can have so many different feelings all at once. Humans are complicated and this cat doesn't know how to deal with them. <laughs> so I thought that that was an interesting aspect to the story. I just didn't like his roommate because I feel like his roommate took advantage of the fact that he didn't remember much of his life and wanted to restart their relationship, however it was. Um, and that really bothered me because he seems like... It's just a really toxic relationship. It made me uncomfortable to read it. Now, he does... He, he loves the girl who was his owner. So what he's trying to do is kind of, um, he wants to be with her and they sort of start a relationship and the dog, cause yes, he was part of a family that had a dog. The dog knows it's him. It's like, cat, is that you cat? You smell different. What are you doing in this human body cat? I thought that was cute. I did like that. Um, and I liked how Cat, as, 
as a human still understood the dog. I thought that was really, <laughs> I liked that. And I liked his relationship with her. I just wish he hadn't continued to kind of tarnish their relationship with the guy, roommate. So I feel like it did a disservice to the LGBTQ community as well. Because you have this, um, which is weird because I know that the author is part of the LGBTQ community. So I thought it was weird um, that it did a disservice to it. It kind of, it just wasn't portrayed well, I want to say that. It bothered me, and it's probably a good thing that this novel was, is no longer being published by the original publisher. I think it was, ooh, I want to say it was Inkyard Press. Um, I have it in my notes. My notes are conveniently on my phone. And I am recording on my phone. <laughs> and um, I keep all my notes on my phone. I really need to invest in another notebook. <laughs> but uh, they are not publishing this anymore. And I think that's probably a good thing because I feel like this, novel going to touch a lot of nerves. I do think the idea is there. I do think this exploration of humanity and love and your emotions um, and how complex everything is, I think that's a good idea. I do like um, the cat's owner. Gosh, can't remember her name. I liked her. I like how open she is about relationships and how she she's okay with it, but you can tell she's not. But she doesn't really want a relationship because she wants to focus on herself. You know, she's she said she's like relationships are messy. I don't really want a relationship, but they do start a kind of a relationship. And oh God, it's just his roommate. You know, I just I really didn't like his roommate. Um, I will say this, there is lots of character development and there is lots of character growth in the story. I just think it's uncomfortable at times to read because there's a lot of toxic relationships in this story and it was really bothersome and I really wish it definitely needs to be fleshed out. This is a novel that definitely needs to be rethought and restructured, at least with the language and those character dynamics. I get it. Life is messy. You're never going to be, you're going to go through messy relationships with toxic people. Been there, done that. It sucks. Um, so maybe that's why it really just bugged me the most because I've been in that kind of position with uh, partners, uh, you know, thank goodness I have my husband because he's like a sweetie. Um, but I didn't think I'd ever find my husband. So, before him, I kind of like, I was just like, oh, I'm just in the dialogue. <laughs> but I think that's probably why it bothered me the most because. I've been there with toxic people in my life. I've since cut them out of my life. Did they acknowledge they were toxic individuals? No, they didn't. But that's probably why it bothered me the most because this guy is, he's toxic. Their relationship is toxic. I think once they, once they create that line between them, Kat and his roommate, I think when they have their blowout, you know, their argument of who they are to one another and what they want with their lives, I think finally that's the moment where you're just like, yes, end this toxicity, please. You finally do get to see them grow. They do remain friends, but you can see that shift in the characterization and in the dynamic. And finally it stopped being uncomfortable because they finally put this wall between us, this barrier between them. I said, no. We can't keep doing this. This is bad. This is unhealthy for both of us. And I liked that part of the novel. It just, it, it happens at like the last quarter of the novel. 
So it was just bothersome for the most part to read, though. Because it was just written poorly. Um, it, 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 it touched a lot of nerves for me. Um, and I think this is a novel that's going to touch nerves with people. Unfortunately, I think this is going to be one of those novels that's going to make people uncomfortable. It is thoughtful. Don't get me wrong. You know, like I've said, it is thoughtful. It does evaluate how messy life is and how messy it is to just be a human. We get it. It's super messy. Nothing in life is perfect. Um, you're going to be with people you shouldn't be with. Sometimes you realize it. Sometimes you don't. Um, sometimes it takes a while. You have to rediscover your self-worth, which is what Kat is doing some of the time when he's trying to reestablish his relationships with, with people, people he loved before and people he's starting to love now. It's messy. But in a really realistic way, and I think, oh, a way that I don't think we as readers really think about. Sorry, one of my cats playing with my cats, with my baby's toy. There we go. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's... Being messy is part of life. Um, so I take that. I, I acknowledge that. And I liked that part of the novel. I just didn't like the relationship part. It bugged me. It just, just, it just didn't... It, it, his friend's not a good person, and he wasn't a good person. So they're kind of formed this relationship on who they were when they were both bad people instead of trying to be better people and good people. Cat wants to be better because Cat doesn't remember anything, and I liked that. I like the influence Cat has on his roommate because um, he does inspire him to be better and that does show character growth. It just takes a while to get there, and I, I feel like it was just a little uncomfortable for me to read. But, you know, at this point, this novel's not going to be published. It looks like um, I haven't seen it be announced that another publisher is going to take up this book because the author did make some unsavory comments on Twitter, which I cannot find. In fact, I think the author probably deleted their Twitter account. I can't find these tweets anywhere. Um, so I really don't know what this author said, but publishers don't drop a book for no reason. You know, it has to be something that was really like bad. Um, so this was The Ninth Life. I'm gonna go ahead and give it two and a half, a soft three stars, because it did make me uncomfortable. I do think it really needs to be brought back to the drawing board. If it ever does get published, it needs to be severely re-edited, and that language has to be, those dynamics, and the language between them, it has to be redone, because it just made me really uncomfortable. But you know what, that's just me. Who knows? Maybe it's just because I've been there, <laughs> so it touched a nerve for me. Um, so in any case, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. If you have any news on this book, Ninth Life, or anything about what the author said, please uh, let me know in the comments below, because I have no idea. Oh, and let me know how you look, how you think about my Aerith look. Do I look like Aerith yet? The goal is Aerith. I <laughs> uh, hope you all have a great rest of your day. And as always, happy reading.